even though this is a short meditation session, don't think that it doesn't have any value. If you really give yourself to the meditation, even for just a little bit of time, sometimes it can have a greater impact on the mind than long hours of meditation, especially if they're the those long hours are spent wandering around. So make up your mind you're going to be right here and stay right here and not let the slightest little disturbance come in, pull you away. And the mind says, well, it doesn't matter, you're only here for five minutes. Think of paper. You have a little piece of paper, it's printed in the right way, it's, it's worth $100. Other paper, you got paper like newsprint, you have bushels and bushels of it, it doesn't mean anything. It just creates a burden. Something to be cleaned up, put away. So make your mind like the hundred dollar bill. It's a small piece of paper, but it's worth a lot. In the same way you have to watch out for the little things that will come in and disturb you. The Buddha says that you sh shouldn't be heedless about your defilements, even when they seem to be small. In the same way that you shouldn't be heedless about little tiny snakes or little tiny fires. A little fire can burn down a whole city, burn thousands and thousands of acres. A little snake can kill you. So you have to watch out for the little things and take care of the good little things. And it's sad that the things that are small that can create a lot of trouble don't require much effort to do that, where it seems that the little things will be of worth we take a lot of effort, but then it's effort well, repi <coughs> well repaid. As the Buddha said, just the thought of doing something skillful, that's a skillful right there. And then you maintain it, you follow through, that's even more skillful, even more meritorious. It's greater and greater rewards. So when the mind is down and on, on itself, saying, this meditation is not going anywhere, say, well, at least I'm trying to establish something good here. It's like lighting a fire. Sometimes there's a heavy wind, you light the fire and it goes out. Well, you light it again, and you learn how to protect it, and finally figure a way to protect it from the wind, and then it can grow. And this is, of course, we're talking about the kind of fire that's good for you, the one that can boil some water for you, that can heat your house, cook your food. In other words, get your mind so that it's still, and it can provide a lot of good services for you. Give you a comfortable place to stay, a good place to stay where you can watch things going on in the mind and see them for what they are. So in the beginning it may seem small, but over time it begins to accrete. It grows bigger and bigger, more and more solid, and you can get more and more out of it. As the Buddha said, you look at everything in terms of what it does, where it takes you. So little things can take you good places, they can take you bad places, so don't overlook the little things. Some of the tiniest seeds can give rise to the biggest trees. Redwoods, for instance, have tiny, tiny seeds. You can look at them, the tallest trees on the planet. So look after the good little things, watch out for the bad little things. And that takes care of the big things right there.